Hi everyone, this is Lester Fensibal, and for today, we are going to talk about Acceptance Parade, which focuses on gender and labor, gender and media, and gender and activism. Gender and Labor The division of labor refers to the way each society divides work among men and women, boys and girls, according to socially established gender roles or what is considered suitable and valuable for each sex. As we are all aware of, our society dictates what kind of work and job is suitable for each gender. For example, a man should be in a corporate, engineering, and allied medicine fields, while women should be in nursing, teaching, and fashion fields. But can we think of how world could be if what man does can be done by women too? In this, gender discrimination in workplace is evident. We should let capabilities and passion to get things done as a standard, not gender. Because all gender are humans too and they can do what others can. Anyone planning a community intervention needs to know and understand the division of labor and allocation of assets on a sex and age disaggregated basis for every community affected by development interventions. It is attributed to the prevalence of gender-based discrimination at the workplace, particularly discrimination in hiring, retention, and advancement of women workers, sexual harassment, wage gap, and limited flexible work arrangement, among others. Despite the great efforts of the Philippines to promote decent work and gender equality both in law and practice, there still remain some challenges that the country faces. Gender and Media Media plays an important role in the society. They report on current events, provide frameworks for interpretation, mobilize citizens with regard to various issues, reproduce predominant culture and society, and entertain as per Lianes and Nina in 2011. Media plays a large role in creating social norms because various forms of media including advertisements, television, and film are present almost everywhere in current culture. Gender and media greatly impact social norms and heightens discrimination. Why? It is because media contributes to the mindset that a gender should act depending on their roles. Fair gender portrayal in the media should be a professional and ethical aspiration, similar to respect for accuracy, fairness, and honesty. Although the media isn't yet representing either gender void of stereotypes, a societal change will bring about a change in the media. Regardless of this, gender roles are just that, roles. On the other hand, media can be an important actor in the promotion of gender equality, both within the working environment in terms of employment and promotion of female staff at all levels, and in the representation of women and men in terms of fair gender portrayal and the use of neutral and non-gender specific language. Gender and Activism Gender and activism refers to the actions taken to empower and fight for equal treatment and rights for all genders. These focuses on raising awareness on gender issues and laws affecting all genders through activism. Gender in society is an important course everyone should take. Why? It helps in disseminating proper and factual information such as gender meets and provides clear perspective on how gender issues should be discussed and needs attention to understand more. To conclude, acceptance is all we need. If acceptance will be given to everyone, we can create a healthy, safe, and secured world with no judgment. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you learned something. Thank you and goodbye.